Good morning, welcome back to my YouTube channel again. This is Mr. Santos Capitan Jr. Always wishing you a good day. Now, guys, uh, today what I'm going to do is to complete my tutorial for this simple motor control. Okay, now the, the last video is all about the uh, auto control wiring diagram. Okay, so I discussed the simple auto control diagram I showed you the how it will be started by a controller okay so let me say controller or DDC or PLC through this uh, normally open contact okay so this DMS start start then I added three relays the, the importance of this relays is to give the uh, necessary status or information in the form of digital inputs or binary inputs to our BDC. So I have specified here a R1 and R2 and R3 normally open contacts will be given to the DDC or PLC. Okay. Now today what I'm planning to do is to show you an example of a DDC. Right here I have my DDC. Okay. So this is a UC400 train. Okay. Now before that let me give you an idea of this relay okay now this relay is this okay so this I have here my relay uh, power okay so it is labeled A1 and A2 okay as I said it's just like a magnetic contactor there's a coil then you need to provide power to the coil in order to create a magnetic field then this relay will be the one to uh, open and close the contacts here okay so what are the contacts here so i have here the middle is common okay so this is common and at the top are the normally open contact okay then here at the bottom are the normally closed contact so I, i'm going to use the normally open contact i need to uh, tap here two uh, wires so one at common and one at the uh, normally open contact okay so uh, common normally open and normally close common normally open normally close i need to use one of the normally open contacts okay so the label here is uh, i think that this is 14 and uh, let me see it's so small 14 and 11 so 14 and 11 14 and 11 uh, is normally open likewise uh, 12 and 21 I think this is uh, 24 and 21 okay so just look for the marking in your ten in your relay base okay so this is the relay then this is the base okay then uh, the base is properly labeled you have there where you are going to connect the power for the coil and where are you going to connect the normally open and normally close contact? So again, uh, the one of the contacts of this is the representation of this. Okay, so this one maybe uh, here I, as I said it will be uh, sorry so small fourteen and eleven. So this is fourteen and eleven. Okay, so it will be fed to the DDC. Okay, so this is the relay. Okay. So here it is. Then now what I have here is the DDC. This is the digital uh, direct digital control, or I can say controller. Okay. Now this is a UC400 of train. Okay. Now there are so many uh, players when it comes to uh, manufacturer of DDC. Okay. Now this one, as you can see here, I have here uh, three binary inputs binary inputs or we can call it also digital inputs digital and binary is almost the same binary is two meaning two digital is zero or one binary is zero or one okay now i have here b1 b2 and b3 now as you can see i need three uh, status from this panel so this are the three relays in my control in my drawing okay so uh, the first relay is the auto status so i put it here in b1 so this is the uh, uh, this is the channel or the digital input number one or binary input number one that will receive the 
status information from the panel. Okay, so this is the relay for the status. Then I connected in the normally open contact. Then I bring it here in my binary input one. Then the next relay is the run status. So run status is relay number two. So this is the one. So again, I connected uh, two core cable going normally open going to my binary input number two then binary input number three is for my trip okay so this one is for my trip information okay so this is this status going to ddc so this is status as you know i already explained how i get this status I, how i got this status from my control panel so i'm feeding it to my ddc okay so this is the representation of this drawing in the actual. Okay, so from the panel, this I, let's say this is the panel or the what is inside the panel. Then from that relays, I will pull cables. Okay, so the BMS people will pull cable. Then they will bring it to the DDC panel or where the DDC controller is situated. Okay, now I already received or the DDC receive already this information from the panel. Now what is important is the DDC, from DDC, DDC will give the open and close status command. Now where, uh, here, as you can see here, okay, here, I have here my BO1, BO2, and BO3. So meaning there are three uh, relays here. As I said, DDC, it has its own built-in relays, okay? So again, here, uh, this relay is common, normally, normally closed and normally open. Now I'm going to use the normally open contact, okay? That's why my cable, uh, two core cable, or two core wire, or two core cable rather, one in uh, common, then one in normally open. Then this cable will go to the start stop provision in the panel, okay? So this cable will go to the start stop okay so this is normally open and this is normally open so when the program uploaded to this controller which i will show you later okay in the next tutorial uh, i will be using a functional block programming okay so when the when the program working or uploaded in this ddc uh, based on the control logic program, let's say it's the time to run the equipment, then this relay will be activated, then the contact will close, then the 24 volts from here, because this is connected to my auto, the 24 volts here will go here, okay, then when DDC closes the contact here, then it will come back and go to the uh, panel, uh, control panel, then it will complete the circuit here. So meaning, when my DDC relay normally open contact closes this, so that cable, okay, so that cable, this one is going to my DDC, then it will come back here, then when my DDC closes it, of course, so there will be a close, so this one will become closed, then 24 volts will be fed to the A1 of my contactor, then A2 is connected to my zero volts, then again, the circuit is complete, then it will start this uh, pan, okay? So, this is how you will connect the simple motor into a DDC or a controller, okay? So, this controller uh, is capable of receiving uh, three binary inputs. Then, it can receive also analog inputs. I have here five analog inputs. Analog inputs meaning... Uh, it's a it's a signal it is a varying quantity signal uh, example of that is uh, temperature sensor pressure sensor humidity sensor so you can use this analog inputs okay so that is the difference of analog inputs to binary inputs binary input there are only two values zero and one on or off true or false now here okay uh, in analog input, uh, it is a varying quantities like temperature, current, voltage, and so on. Okay. Now, this one also can give analog output. So, when I say analog output, this controller is capable of giving 0 to 10 volt signal. Okay. So, now, 0 to 10 volt signal is used for uh, opening and closing valves or this modulating valves or 
you can feed also or you can use this also in controlling the variable frequency drive. So basically, variable frequency drive will receive 0 to 10, 0 to 10 volt signal to play the vari uh, frequency of the motor, then it will uh, vary also the speed of the motor, okay? Now here also, there is also here triac signal, okay? This is triac signal where you can use also in turning on and turning off some equipment, okay? Okay, so this one have how many binary output? So there are three binary output. Then this one have nine triac signal, okay? So this uh, this controller, UC400, train UC400 can communicate to the main network controller, okay? So they have their own tracer. So you can connect it through BACnet and STP, okay? Now guys, I don't need to power this up, okay? Because I don't have the main network controller for this or the main uh, controller for this one. So I will show you how this one will work uh, in another controller. I'm going to use Snyder system to show you how this one works and how my program will be written in a uh, programming tool okay then I will simulate it then I will show it to you later okay so again guys uh, this will end this uh, automatic control wiring I have shown you already through this uh, simple uh, control then I have shown you already how it will be connected to a uh, DDC. So the significance of this BMS start stop from DDC and the significance of this information or status going to the DDC. So here three, three status going to the DDC. So I have here three binary inputs coming from the relays in the control panel. Then I need one uh, digital output or binary output that will open and close this contact. So I have here one. Uh, binary output that will do the job for opening and closing this based on the control logic program uploaded into this controller. Now my next video I will draw a simple uh, I will draw a simple control logic program how I'm going to start this simple motor control. Okay, so guys thank you very much for watching this short video clips and I do hope uh, now it's clear in your mind especially those beginners how I'm going to connect this into a DDC where the DDC will be the one to run this equipment when it is in automatic uh, position. Okay, so again, guys, uh, please, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. You can always support the channel by watching. You can like, you can share, and you can put your comments in my YouTube uh, channel in my tutorials. Okay, then again, Santos Capillan Jr. will always say, God bless us all, let's all be safe, and bye for now.